Most people who once understand how to handle the phone process in a store, you have to remember that you're training your employees for the success of their life. And what we know about employee attrition and company retention of employees at the retail level is that in truth, you can invest time either positively or negatively on the job in their training, or you can invest time in advance of them coming on the job in associate preparation. But the best way to handle it is based on the way that your store functions and whether or not it's got a classroom, or whether or not you've got the time and enough employees to cover it. But what we feel greatly is that a corporate trainer should be positioned to handle a group of employees to tackle these things as opposed to the one-off individual training that can happen on the job with a supervisor or management assigned. Because in truth, most supervisors and most managers are not leaders in the way that they know how to lead a, a employee by studying their learning style and providing them information and extra information that they can assess in seconds of what will and won't work with getting the company message into the employee's brain, heart, and soul. Making the training about the employee being a success in the world is a great way to go because what we know, of course, about any industry in the world is that there will be a time in which that employee will time out. So what you're doing for American society as a part of your training for your corporation and the valuation of your company, which allows it to stay working and functioning and earning in America, is helping to prepare society with better people, better performers, more producers, so that America as a whole and as a nation is a healthier, happier place. Now that might be a big order, but it is a way that is rather altruistic that allows you to help to remind an employee that they're going to have to work every single day for the rest of their life. And it can either be a job of enjoyment or a job of misery, but either way, their wages, their earnings, their salary, their advancement in your company, perhaps from a retail store to the corporate office, is possible or not possible, depending on the process within your company. But at the same time, it is a valuation of the human being to recognize that at some point a person matures and decides that they might want to do something else in life or they need to do something else in life because they've gone off and produced a life in their home life that now has more responsibility and requires a higher wage. So what you're doing in the reporting and what you're doing in the training and what you're doing in the talking with people is always reminding them of the absolute truth that everyone at some point times out in a job or can get fired. And this is about the time that we start to talk about poorly behaving employees, bad attitude boys, gossiping girls that ruin a company. You see, when a customer comes in the store is when consumer rights begin. Consumer rights say that as an American citizen, we have the right to a quality product at a reasonable price for the valuation of our hard-earned discretionary dollars. At the same time, it allows us the exchange of a product if it's one of those crazy days where one of the products has slipped through the quality processes of the manufacturing company and we get a product in the store that just doesn't work. Electricity doesn't work, the process of how it functions doesn't work, or it doesn't actually work for the project or the reason it was purchased. So clearly, employees have to know about the return policy, and clearly employees have to know how to politely articulate the opportunities to return or not return something that is purchased, because we know, sadly, from watching some sort of an Oprah show or some sort of a news show, that there are people, immoral people in the world who don't have a lot of money who might buy something to use it and take it back, which is not great, because a lot of times those products cannot be resold and a lot of times those dresses can be ruined in a way that, well, is just not easy to be whole. Well, I guess what I'm talking about is that we have to be able to articulate that process. We have to be able to also articulate how to politely decline the return of a product. 
without getting into a fisticuffs, without getting into a verbal repartee as an employee with a customer who might be upset that day.